Hola, beautiful souls. So, I wanted to answer the question, what do I think of the thought of what A Course in Miracles says, that heaven is already here and now? Heaven is here and now. <laughs> because heaven is written on our hearts. And heaven is a state of being. It's not a place that we go to after death. Okay? Heaven is, again, a state of being. It is who and what we are. Heaven is that joint experience of love and unity and harmony and compassion and peace and joy and everything that comes along with it, right? We have been conditioned to believe that heaven comes after we die and we have this bright shining light that beams on us and we look up to this bright shining light and we're taken into heaven and then we get to experience heaven as a place that is separate from earth. <laughs> Whereas in reality, heaven is an inward condition, okay? It's not somewhere we go to, it's what we are, okay? And, and this heaven seems to be a place that we go to because when we're here on earth, we've forgotten what we are. We've forgotten what heaven is, right? Just like Jesus says, right? He says, seek first thy kingdom within thyself, right? And so what that means is that there is a kingdom of love, that is in the self. But it is drastically different than that of this world. And this world we've been conditioned to see through the eyes of the physical body, right? We can touch, we can smell, we can taste, we can hear, we can feel. And because of these, these ways of perceiving the world, we've taken in the world and seen it through the filters of the ego mind. And we've taken in all the beliefs, all the ideas, all the judgments of our family, our friends, our peers, history, media, and all of that stuff. So we have this whole conglomeration of false beliefs and ideas of what we are and what this world is. And then that's how we see the world. We see the world as the mind sees it, right? So it's perception of the mind that is projected outward, and then what is outward is a projection of the mind. But we see it as almost separate from us at first. That what's out there is different than what's in here, but that's a lie. What's out there is a projection of what's going on in here. That's all. So anytime we have a relationship that has a hiccup, anytime we experience a, a dark time, anytime that you know we experience a lack, um, feeling alone, any of these things, um, someone said something to us, made us upset, anything, 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 war, anything, right, that we see outside of ourselves. When we believe it to be real and we take it personally and it hurts us, well then we are believing in an illusion. We are believing in the hallucination of mind. We are believing in a thought that we've accepted as true, that has been projected outside of us, and therefore we are judging what is outside of us as causing harm, instead of realizing that what caused us harm is our own thought about it. Right, so we're reversing the system now, to realize that the cause is here and the effect is out there, always. This is how it works for every single person on the face of the planet. Whether you know it or you don't know it, it doesn't matter. So what Jesus and myself and the Course in Miracles are teaching and all the other teachers of God right is that the kingdom is in the self it's in the heart it's in the being right and so when we let go of all of these wants all of these goals all of these ideas all of these fears all of these everything and they will come up into our experience in our everyday life to look at them to undo them and let them go so don't worry about that we're all a part of the curriculum and it'll all come to us when we need to let it go but as we get to the point of letting this go and realizing that there's nothing in this fearful mind I want anymore. There's nothing in this external world I want anymore. The only thing I want is to know myself and to know God and be happy. So when we ask to be happy beyond anything else, okay, is when we start to see and feel and experience the kingdom of God in our own hearts and our own beings. And we start to transfer our faith from the old world to the new, okay? And any time we have an experience that reminds us of the past or makes us afraid of the future, we can stop right here, right now, and be like, I'm perceiving this wrongly. Let me be in this state of now, open to seeing this differently. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our only purpose in this world is to shift our perception of it, nothing else, okay? And come the shift in perception comes the forgiven world, which is literally heaven here on earth. Right? And that's why forgiveness is our function here. That's why it's a tool here. Because any time we experience something that is not love, we're misperceiving it. 
All right, we're seeing it through the eyes of fear, therefore we're not seeing it truly. And therefore we can be in the state of now, call on forgiveness, call on love, call on light to show it to us differently. And then we're shown it differently. And as it's shown us differently, like it dawns on our mind, right? What happens is now we have a forgiven perspective, a forgiven perception. And this forgiven perception is a gift that we get, can give to others to share in this vision. Because only forgiveness and truth can be shared. Right? Only truth can be shared. And therefore what we're doing is as we continue to uproot all of our thoughts and realize that what we were thinking before and believing before is not true, but there is truth within me, so let me know what that is and receive that truth, then what happens is from the shift in mind, now that we've chosen our whole mind instead of our split mind, we've chosen our love mind instead of our fear mind, we've chosen our mind of God instead of the mind of ego, what happens is in choosing the mind of God, we bring heaven here because we're anchors of heaven on earth. We're anchors of love and light on earth. And then we shine it throughout the world. And from this forgiven perspective, our world becomes forgiven. Like me in my life right now, it is perfection. It is miraculous. Nothing goes wrong, right? I'm at complete peace, complete freedom, complete joy, always. If I have my hiccups, it is literally just for the purpose of being a happy learner, learning what I need to learn in that experience, receiving the per forgiven perspective so I can give it away to somebody else who needs it. Right? So it's all for joy, all for giving, all for love, but the kingdom of God is in us. And as we accept it as being within us, it shines throughout the world. So that's why I keep extending my hand out to all of you, because I know the power that we have within us. We have the power of God within us. So when we accept the power of God as being our only reality and that we are not this body, we are not characters in this world, we are not our stories, we are not our thoughts, and there's nothing out there that we could want, and there's nothing out there that is our goal because we already have everything within, and to remember and be willing to remember that we have everything within, the moment that we remember it and want to remember it, we, are, we remember, boom! Lights come on, light shines out, and we get to see in our experience how miraculous life is because we've chosen that as our reality here, right? And then one by one, we join in this forgiven vision, right? And one by one, we join in this united perspective and we begin to co-create a world of peace. We begin to co-create heaven here because heaven is already here. We're just waking up and remembering that it is truth. So that is what I believe the Course in Miracles was saying, that heaven is already here, right? We just don't see it yet. So that's why we're here to shift our perception. And like Jesus said, I am here to give sight to those who cannot see. I have the same purpose. I have the same function as do all of you. We're not seeing truly when we see anything but love and peace in our experience. But there is another way of seeing it. And you can call on the voice for love within you to show you this truly. And you will be shown as I have. The kingdom of God is in you, okay? The word of God is written on your heart. Turn with inward, listen, be patient, and receive, okay? You will be tested that this is what you really want and this is what you really want, so you will be given your experiences to learn it, trust me. So just let yourself learn with absolute willingness to learn, and it will be done. The kingdom of God is in you, don't forget because we're here to bring it here, because it's already here, we're just remembering. I love you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.